What's up everybody? It's me, Johnny G, and we're back again today with another Tokyo Treat unboxing. Yes, I just smacked myself in the mouth with it. No, I don't care, because I'm hungry, and I want to try some treats, and I want to share them with everybody here. Even though you guys can't taste, I'm going to let you know what it tastes like. She is too, hopefully. Hopefully, she's still getting over the cold a little bit. I'm kind of, I think, at that end point. Taste buds are, are working pretty good now, though. So, we're going to take my trusty cutter, and we are going to open this thing up. Now, real quick, just to let you know, today is December 6th that I'm recording this. However, this is actually November 2019's box. Um, the past two months, past three months actually, September, October, and November have been a little bit delayed because various reasons, the storms, weather, and things going on in Japan and overseas. And at the same time, I think now they're kind of getting a little bit slammed with all the holiday orders and things because they also have you know some other things going on. They have another shop on their site where they sell different merchandise and things like that. So either way here, this is November's box. Hopefully December's is coming soon. I'm pretty sure it already shipped. We'll be able to get a hold of that and try that all here soon. Hopefully before Christmas. If not, before New Year's maybe. That would be cool. New Year's unboxing. So, here we open this up. Oh yeah. Japan Express is the theme of this one. So there is going to be a bunch of good stuff in here, hopefully. Let's dive in. First thing I'm noticing here is some sort of chip. I got a light on, hopefully that helps the brightness in here a little bit better. It's a Atsuki Luxury Potato Sea Urchin flavor. Ew. Oh, that's what those things are, spiny things. I didn't notice them at first. Sea Urchin, that's different. I've never had anything like that before. Yeah. Let's find out. I already see there's Coke in there. Special Coke, they always have good Coke flavors. Ooh. Smells different. Mm -hmm. Not a not a real fishy scent, but they're wavy, ripply mm -hmm. chips. Hmm. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm just saying that if that's how a sea urchin actually would taste, I'd gladly eat that. That's delicious. I don't know what I could compare it to, savory flavor, but it's not overly salty. Mm -hmm. That's one good thing. Sometimes I like really salty potato chips, but other times, you know, I like the flavor to come through a little bit more. In this case, the flavor really pops, but yeah, it's not like a fishy taste or anything like that, but it's kind of tough to describe. I know the chip itself is kind of like a, a puffy chip. It's not like puff itself, but it's thicker than normal. Yeah, look at that. It's it's thicker overall. You can see that in the cut. They're all like that. So yeah, they're a little bit thicker of a potato chip. Pretty good overall. That's, that's one thing off the list. And again, guys, you know, uh, Tokyo Treat, I'll put a link down in the description. I think I have a link that I can use now that's either like a referral or an affiliate type code. So if you use that, I get some sort of a, you know, a bonus or something out of it. I'm not quite positive on that yet. I'll have to contact Tokyo Treat and find out. But either way, link will be down below if you want to check out your own. Remember, they do have multiple tiers. We get the premium tier box, which has, you know, the extra stuff like the drink and some other extra treats in it uh, each time they have, like, if you look at the booklet here, the top row, I believe, are all the premium snacks and all the ones down here come with the regular box. So there's a variety of different things that they add to it. So the next thing, I guess, we've got another one of these, like, kind of log thing. It's, I don't know how to explain it other than kind of feels like squish and styrofoam, but they're usually pretty good, like a chocolatey or like we had a uh, brown sugar flavored one before. This one's actually brown sugar again. So brown sugar and honey. Mm. Brown sugar bar from Okinawa. So see, oh, you know what? I don't know if they recently started doing this and I just haven't noticed or what, but they have with each of these snacks, or maybe it's just for this one, maybe it's just for the theme, they have 
the part of Japan that they originate from. So those chips were from Hokkaido. This brown sugar bar is from Okinawa. So, we'll go ahead and try first. <laughs> leave a leave a little chunk so mom can try. My 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 mom likes to try this stuff with us too, so uh, I keep a little bit for her usually. It gave a little split. It's like right in the middle of split. Yeah, because they're they're a little tough to, to split. This I mean if you can see in there, it does have a very airy texture. It's kinda hard to reach across the table to the camera, but it's it's I don't know, puffy, puffy, you know, like a like a corn puff or something that you would get. But there's not a huge flavor to it. It's mostly in the outer coating. Mmm. Good brown sugar flavor. Mm -hmm. We like to get uh, a snack bun from a convention that we go to. And it has a good brown sugar flavor like that. That's really good. All right, next thing. Uh, it says chocolate pie from Saitama. One punch! <laughs> it doesn't quite look like a pie. I mean, it kind of has like scoring across the top, but it looks to be some sort of little chocolate filled bar of some sort. So, let's go ahead and look at that. one punch of chocolate and we are done. Oh, so it's tiny. It is. It's, it's like a little little bar. It's scored on the top like pie. And it's having trouble focusing there. If I put a hand behind it. No, because it's seeing your face. Oh, I'm pushing the table. All right, I'm not gonna push my luck, but I'll break a little piece off there. Ooh, it's flaky. It's flaky like a pie. Chocolate in the middle. Ooh. Hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Silky dark chocolate filling and a soft pie crust. And that's a really good flaky crust. I want the recipe for that. I like to bake. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I will say that that with a smooth chocolate filling would be good, but the chocolate inside was like, like chocolate bar. Like if you had a little piece of, you know, broken off of a Hershey bar or something, it's like they melted chocolate, put it in there, you know, baked it, and then, you know, let it cool. Oh God, don't spew. Anyways, it's like they wrapped a the, the piece of chocolate, a chunk of chocolate inside, baked it, it melted, and okay, and then it re-solidified, so you get the crispy flakiness of the pie and then a good bite to the chocolate. So that's pretty cool. But we've had something like these before. We had like a tomato-y flavor. These are called Poriki. P-O-R-I-C-K-E-Y. And they're almost like a little pretzel stick, pretty much. It's like a little baked treat. This one here is brown sugar flavor. And this is from Okinawa. So crunchy pretzel stick. Yummy brown sugar flavor. Let's get it. I can't open it. <laughs> eh. I've lost to the bag. I've been defeated. Kind of. Okay, you can try. I failed. <laughs> I rely on her for a lot of things. Oh, you can't defeat the bag either. We should bring scissors when we sit down to do this. The only thing I bring to cut anything is my knife to open the box itself to cut the tape. I never think to bring scissors. Ooh, so these ones are dark. They're a very dark brown color. You know, obviously brown sugar created that coloring or almost caramelization look to it. But typically, like when you look at the package, Compared to this actual thing, the package shows a very lighter colored stick on there, more pretzel-like. These are really, really dark. But, like I said, probably just because of the brown sugar. We'll give it a try. Ooh, they're kind of hollow inside. 
Very crunchy. Almost missed my mouth. I need more like a cookie. You know, that would be really good. Like those, like those dip in snacks that you can get for like a lunch for school or something. You know, the, like the Oreo ones that you can dip in the icing or, you know, the little pretzel sticks to dip in the cheese, stuff like that. <clears throat> get a little, little icing or something sweet to dip that in. I don't know why, my mind just went to applesauce. I get the good brown sugar flavor, but dipping that in something like applesauce, oddly enough, that, I don't know. I don't know why my mind went there, but but that's that's really good. I do like those. Those are definitely, definitely something I'd go back for. <laughs> for more of, what is this? Seiza Choco. Constellation Chocolate Cookie from Saitama. Chocolate and cookies, the best match. Japan Express headed to the prefecture of Saitama, known for their great chocolate. Okay, well, looks like a little, little cookie, and the package is thin, so it's not, you know, anything really big, but a lot of their cookies don't seem to be really huge and poppy like something you get over here in America at your typical bakery or something like that. So, oh, it's broken. Oh, it's already broke. That's well, good. Cool. It's broken into small chunks, and as you can see, the very top, that actually looks more like chocolate in the bottom, like a cookie or cracker almost. So, give it a try. Ooh. Ooh. That chocolate on there. Man, that's exactly what I was just gonna say. That is awesome chocolate. I'm one that I very much dislike waxy chocolate. Like, you can go into like a dollar store or something over here and get cheap chocolate. I think one of the brands that like my grandma used to buy is Palmer's and Palmer's is just, it's so waxy, I don't like it. You know, to a point, there's a little bit of waxiness to, you know, Hershey's and even some, like we have some local places around here that, that uh, make chocolates and you know, their stores specifically dedicated to that. And they each have their own kind of thing. But this chocolate was very smooth, had a very good flavor, it wasn't waxy. It did hold up very well and it kind of melted in your mouth without mm -hmm. really melting to say. And then the cookie part of the bottom, it didn't really have much flavor to it, at least not that I noticed, but it really complemented the chocolate well. Mm -hmm. You had two different textures that came together good. A crunchy and a kind of the chunky, I don't want to call it a crunch to the chocolate, but it's a good bite. So. Ooh, we're already 13 minutes on this, it looks like, so I'm trying to speed it along a little bit. I don't want you guys sitting here all day watching me, do you? I don't think that sentence made sense. I failed again. <laughs> 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 all right, so what are, oh, there's a few things there. What is this? This is a, oh, cool, this is another corn flavored thing. Okay. Once again, we got an awesome little corn snack, it looks like. Potato snack corn potage from Hokkaido. So, it looks like a big potato, like, wafery kind of thing. And I think the last time we did one of these unboxings, we had a corn flavored snack. And I said before, they make these awesome, sweet corn flavored items. We had a Dorito that tasted like it one time. And it was just downright epic. I, I don't understand what they did to it to make it so good. But this, I mean, it's just a big, thin wafer. Definitely smells like corn. Oh. Mm. That tastes like someone got really good sweet corn and just did something like they, they I don't know if they seasoned it or what, but they just baked it. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't just microwave it up with butter and crap like that. They just like they baked it in something like a casserole, but all you taste is the corn. That's mm -hmm. so good. Well, <laughs> I saved it. Absolutely delicious. Good crispy flavor and texture to it. Awesome corn taste. I love it. On to the next item though. 
another corn. Oh my god, it is. It says corn potage snack, also from Hokkaido. This one here, though, looks more like some sort of, like, they, they look like cheese puffs, like Cheetos or cheese curls or something, you know. Kind of feel like something small, similar to like that, but another sweet corn flavor. Yep, definitely a little puff. Oh. Puff, but... mm. Mm. I could sit and eat bags of these. I would be mm, so yum, yum, yum. much fatter in no time. Mm. <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see, what is this? Unpun Man Apple Gummies. So it's got a cute little character on that. Some sort of a gummy. Looks like I see the DIY kit. That's something that, you know, I'm still saving a couple here and it, if it comes down to it and we have some time, maybe in a separate video, we'll do a couple of the DIY kits, but they're usually something that takes a little bit of a process mixing something up. Possibly, I don't think refrigeration is needed, but they usually take, you know, mixing up something in there to go, going through some things. So we might do that in a separate thing. And, you know, since we don't really open the box until we start recording, it's kind of tough to get prepared to do something like that. So, I mean, I could always do it and then edit it in later, but it's a case where I think we're gonna save these kind of things for a separate video. So let's set that aside. It is Doki Doki Fishing, though, from Shizuoka. Looks like you're making some sort of, oh, grape flavored fish candies. So that's what the DIY kit is. We'll set that aside. For now, we've got the little tray. There's six little gummies in there. Don't know if you guys can see, but all of them are a different little shape, different character. But the back has a little flat thing on it that you can lift up. Will pop out. It's like edible paper. Yeah, that's right. The paper is edible on the back of this for some reason. Yeah. Well. And no flavor to it, but. Yeah, it's, there's really no flavor, but try and get a gummy out for each of us. Here's one for you. I think that's a little girl character, I don't know. Pop this one out. I think it's that one there. It could be. I don't know, I got a weird man looking thing. What? Yeah. Hmm. Good, green apple. Hmm. That's, a, that's a sweeter green apple, not very tart, but that's really good. All right. Ooh, that's heavy. What is that? Ooh. It looks like, almost looks like a peppermint patty, but I'm seeing like almond or something. Mochi Chunko. You'll find they're good to eat and you'll love they're good to taste. So where is it on here? This is from Yamanashi. Delicious and chewy mochi. A round mochi disc coated in chocolate and filled with yummy chocolate cream. It's showing, like I said, if you look at the package here, it kind of looks almost like a peppermint patty, but it shows like a little, a little image of, look, looks like almonds, to be honest. So. Almonds, and that does look like a mint leaf or something. Mm, I hope it's, I hope it's really good. It, it's a little disc. It feels very heavy though. Hmm. So I'm just gonna break a piece off. Oh, oh wow, that's very tough, that is mochi. Like straight up actual mochi, and we're getting chocolate everywhere. We're gonna have to wipe that up. Oh, that's not bad. Now, that's a more, that's a more waxy chocolate. That chocolate, Tastes like those marshmallow eggs, those little mini marshmallow eggs that you can get for Easter. That's what that chocolate reminds me of. But the mochi itself, the, the, the chewy mochi, isn't bad. The cream in the middle is chocolatey. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Nutella. But other than that, there's nothing too crazy about it, but it is very good. I'd eat that again. All right. Getting and down, a couple things to go. What were you going to say? I know we've tried uh, our fair share different mochi, and I know some of them kind of taste funky. 
That's definitely a good one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we've had a couple of different kinds of mochi, but most of them aren't in a little flat, you know, thing like that. They're like a round little so, puff, you know. And like a cross between a puff and a jelly of some sort. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and honestly, mochi, if I'm not mistaken, is like a rice-based snack. You know, they make like a dough, a chewy jelly dough kind of out of rice, so. All right, next thing is Kibidango from Okayama. It features the Hiro Momotaro on the front, and it is a sweet candy stick with peach flavor. Ooh. So, I like peach. They've had a couple good peach things, a little Momotaro down there at the bottom. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So it's in another wrapper, but it's got like a, like a flower or something on top there. Maybe powdered sugar. Let's break a little piece off. If, break it in the package. I got a little easier. Yeah. Edible paper again, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's edible paper. So I'm just going to tear it apart like this. Mmm. That's weird. That's like a caramel texture to it. But... Yeah, it's chewy, sticky texture, but I don't get a lot of peach out of that. It's kind of bland, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of that one. Mm -mm. I'm not a big fan of that one. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of one of those like really gritty like energy bars yeah. that you can buy and you can get um, it's supposed to be made of like all kinds of fruit and stuff like that and grain and whatnot and it ends up kind of tasting really crappy. That's got protein and all that stuff in. So we're getting down to the bottom here. We've got a couple more things to go. Ooh, these feel soft. This is a chocolate doriyaki from Tokyo. So it's like a pancake, typically filled with red bean or custard, but in this case, chocolate. So it looks like there's two whole ones in there. It's not, yeah, we'll split one. It's not so much a filled pancake. Ooh, I've got melted chocolate on me. No. <laughs> it's not so much a filled pancake as much as it is two pancakes stacked together with filling in between. So I'll show you that. Kind of broke it a little bit in the side, but you can see there's chocolate filling in the middle. But they definitely are pancakes here. <laughs> Give you the bigger half. Whoa. There's a chocolate mm. icing. Good and creamy. Not a super sweet chocolate, but it's not really a bitter. It's not quite dark. But it doesn't really taste like it's like plain straight up milk chocolate either. And it's just a less sweetened cocoa or something. Huh? But either way, very, very, very good. All right, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five things. We'll leave the drink for last, the grand tasting of the drink. This is an awesome takoyaki umaiba. So, takoyaki is octopus. Remember the trick or treat box from last October 2018 where they sent a takoyaki flavored uh, marble soda or ramen and yeah. had to hold your nose to get it down because then you don't taste it. Otherwise it tastes like fried octopus and it was bad. Now I'm okay with the flavor on other stuff but not in a drink. That was horrible. But these are always cute. They feature a little character on there. I think in some... In, some cases, at least, it's supposed to be Doraemon. But in other cases, it's a different character. I don't know. <laughs> it just depends on the packaging. Mm, it's already kind of crumbled. Yeah, this one's all broken up. I'll grab it. See, that's delicious. It's got a good seasoning to it, a good flavor. Kind of a little bit of soy sauce I think I'm getting too, but mm -hmm. you definitely get the fried octopus flavor. I've had that at a couple different Asian restaurants we've been to. Um, overall, very good taste. 
I eat it, like I said, I eat stuff like that anytime, just not the drink. <laughs> not the drink again. All right. I don't know what they did with that drink, but that, that drink was nasty. Yeah, that was horrible. Moving on, green apples in a bag. Now these are kind of like mochi texture, but they're like a little, yeah, they're like a little square and they come with a little toothpick in there so you can kind of poke it and eat it, but we'll just pop them out and eat them. But it's like a jelly gummy, you know, based thing. I think we had cherry flavored ones like these before. Here's one for you. And one for me. Remind me of like Starburst with it. Yeah. The um, texture and shape. That's pretty much what they're like. They're very similar to Starburst, like she said. Just tiny. A little bit more on the jelly side though. Mm -hmm. Whereas like Starburst is, they've got that like, I guess matte kind of color to them where it's, they're more like a taffy. Starburst is more like a taffy. These are more like a gummy jelly, but they're still similar in texture and similar in the flavor, how they taste, but good green apple, not overpowering. All right. Green tea cookies. Mm. Oh, and the green apples in a bag are from Almori. These are matcha sandwich cookies from Kyoto. Kyoto, Japan. And I'll show you the other side of the box because it goes sideways here. But Kyoto Inferno, where the great fires raged, and Shishio mm. Makoto and Kenshin Himura had their final showdown. Rurouni Kenshin, amazing series, check it out. Might want to read the comic if you're into that, read the manga. Amazing, had more of an ending to it than what the anime did. There was additional stuff that was left out there, but it was very, very good. So these, definitely a little sandwich cookie. Kind of similar size to an Oreo. Green tea matcha scent. I'm fine, I'll eat the whole thing. Mmm. Mm -mm. That's a good flavor. Great matcha flavor. Good texture. Crunchy cookie. Good icing. Not overpowering. Sometimes you can get matcha stuff, at least more like Americanized. And it's it's a little bit overpowering. That was good. That was very good. Be right back. Okay, so next to last item, Kit Kats. These are always wonderful. This time, these are also from Kyoto. They are Hojicha Kit Kats, which is a green tea roasted over charcoal. So, I believe we might have gotten these before at convention, but I'm not sure. I don't know, but it's a green tea flavoring. We'll give it a gander here. Green baggie. Yum, yum, yum. I always love their amazing Kit Kats flavors. So, keep it up Japan, and Nestle Japan. Keep making these awesome flavors and bring more over here. Tokyo Treat Box, please. Ooh. Maybe we didn't have these ones. These have a really deep scent to them. Oh yeah. We had these. I remember them now. Just like those cookies, it's not an overpowering tea flavor. These are different. Uh, the green tea and matcha are a bit different, like straight green tea and matcha, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'm probably wrong. Let me know down in the comments if you, if you know for sure. But I'm, but these don't have an overpowering flavor either, but it's not super sweet, which the green tea by itself typically isn't. You know, some people are used to bottled green tea and stuff that has like the honey and ginseng and stuff in it. 
And it's good, don't get me wrong, but it's sweeter than what like this is. This has got more of the straight green tea flavor, but you also get the white chocolate and stuff and the crunchy Kit Kat. So you do get some sweetness, but it's not that bad. So, I like. All right. Last thing. We always save the drink for last. In this case, it is Coca-Cola. It is an apple Coca-Cola. Focus. There it goes. Apple Coca-Cola. You see the apple on the bottle. They have included, I believe, two other flavors of Coke in the past. I don't remember what one of them is at least, but I do remember like we've had a couple of Pepsis and things as well. But the one flavor of Coke that they did come out with had a similar bottle to this. It was peach flavored. Doesn't, doesn't taste like the Georgia peach glass bottles that you can buy like at Walmart or you know local grocery stores and stuff like that, but it had an awesome peach flavor. So I've got two glasses here for us with a little bit of ice in it and we're gonna give it a try. Ooh. One thing about these bottles, they always seem to give a nice pressurized pop instead of, you know, like your typical American bottle, spin it and it, it gives the slow fizz and then sometimes tries to overflow on you. So we'll go ahead and pour out a little bit for the homies. Mm -hmm. There you go. Just enough for the taste for now. Okay. Cheers. Dink. Oh. Awesome. I like it. I like it too. Good typical Coca-Cola flavor coming mm -hmm. through and then the apple just like comes right through the middle and punches you in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The throat punch just hit me. But anyway, <laughs> no, it, it does. It has a really good apple flavor. You get the Coca-Cola, you get the apple, and it blends together really well. And I, I'm not sure of like a specific apple flavor to compare to something sticky there. Meh. I don't know. But it, it, it it's... It, I think it, they picture a red apple on the side, but I'm getting kind of more of a green apple flavor coming through, which is it is a lot more common, it seems, with snacks and treats and, you know, flavor in general. Green apple, Granny Smith apple. Not that you can't bake or, or you know, cook with red apples and things like that. It just seems like the more common the flavors, time. yeah, to use in candy and snacks and treats is the green. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but that's just kind of what I'm getting here is more of a green apple taste. But again, it's not like like the gummies and stuff before. It's not a tart or, or you know, I don't know, sour green apple. It's more along the lines of sweet. So, I don't know. I certainly like it. Yes. Excuse me. I could buy a case of that. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to behave. I'm trying not to drink as much soda. I like to, to, to try these when they come in. But other than that, for the most part, I'm trying not to, not to drink as much soda. I'm trying to shave this belly down, guys. This doesn't help, but it's, <laughs> it's a once a month thing. So for the most part, I, try, I tend to stay away. I tend to behave. Been down about 20 pounds, but you know, let's not talk about that. Mm -hmm. Overall, great box, awesome flavors. We've had treats from Okinawa, from Osaka, from Shizuoka, Yamanashi, Aomori, Hokkaido, Tokyo, da, 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 Saitama, Kyoto, and that's it. We, we've had from a bunch of different prefectures here. Various different snacks, great things here, and, and overall, an awesome, awesome box this time around. So Japan Express, again, was the theme. So it's like the express train took us through all those different prefectures to try all these different staples around Japan. So maybe someday 
we'll get to do more than just show you the treats that come here. Maybe we will be able to take our camera and go film on a trip to actual Japan and show you guys the food and things at the place, at the source. That's a goal for us. That's actually kind of our hopes for a honeymoon when we eventually get married. But if that comes around soon and we get a chance to, we'll take you guys with us to Japan and show you what it's like over there. But for now, we're just gonna have to show you the treat boxes as they come. As I said before, this was November 2019. Hopefully December is coming soon and we'll either get to do that before Christmas or maybe just after kind of New Year's unboxing thing. If not, maybe I haven't gotten an email to my knowledge of a delay. I'll have to check of that, but maybe December's is gonna show up in January. We'll find out. Either way, guys, I'm going to keep these coming as long as you like them. Let me know down in the comments below. If you could be so kind, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you could. I'm trying to build my family here, and I want you guys to be part of it. Thanks, everybody, for joining us and for watching on this one, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Boom!